माय नेम इज डॉक्टर के सी पटेल प्रोफेसर पारो यूनिवर्सिटी एंड चीफ सॉइल हेल्थ स्पेशलिस्ट माटी माटी एग्रो मार्ट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड आनंद गुजरात टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ द YouTube इज न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट इन टर्मेरिक सो टर्मेरिक करकुमा लोंगा इज अ प्लांट that is a very long history of medicinal use dating back to nearly 4000 years in southeast asia turmeric is used not only as a principal spice but also a component in religious ceremonies because of its brilliant yellow color turmeric is also known as indian saffron modern medicine has begun to recognize its importance at indicated by the over 3000 publication dealing with turmeric that came out within the last 25 years india is a leading producer and exporter of turmeric in the world andhra pradesh tamil nadu orissa karnataka west bengal gujarat meghalaya maharashtra assam are some of the important states cultivating turmeric of which andhra pradesh alone occupies 38% of area and 58.5% of production during 2013 and 2014 the country produced 12.29 lakh tons of turmeric from an area of 2.34 lakh hectare now we can see the medicinal use turmeric is extremely used in ayurvedic system of medicine and you use as an antiseptic or being a part of many ointments and lotion for external wounds and skin infections it is also used in the treatment of arthritis curcumin the main active component is believed to have a wide spectrum of biological action it is popular for its antibacterial antifungal anti ulcer and anti tumoral effects you know that uh, the different varieties of the turmeric has been grown and each variety have different characteristics so you can see that in roma and suroma has the maximum curcumin content 9.3% whereas sugna has 73% curcumin but the fresh in production is 29.3 ton per hectare whereas the highest producer producing curcumin variety have lower mean yield of press about 20 ton per hectare then pratiba produce the 39.1 press yield per hectare and the crop duration is only 188 and the dry cure recovery is 62 per 6.2% and the curcumin content is 6.5% then it contain oleous resin 16.2% and essential oil 6.2% so different varieties of the turmeric have different characteristics of the curcumin oil contain essential oil and il content is also significantly differ from each other the lakadong variety of turmeric is originated from lakadong area of the jaintia hill state of meghalaya it is considered to be one of the world best varieties of turmeric with its curcumin content of about 6.8 to 7.5 percent so you can see here laka dong turmeric variety and it is grown in a meghalaya then another variety black turmeric so 
some farmer in Maharashtra are growing the black turmeric and it is a profitable. The current price of black turmeric varies between rupees 500 to rupees 2500 according to Marathi farmer Dhananjay Raut. He has sold black turmeric at the price of rupees 4000 per kg to medicinal sector including Ayurveda. So you can see here it is a black turmeric. The color of the turmeric is black, black, whereas the other turmeric, you know that it is a yellow in color. So black turmeric market in India. Where to sell black turmeric in India? Pharmaceutical companies, Ayurvedic dealers, retail buyers, worship Ayurvedic doctors, Ayurvedic shops, disease priests and gurus. So, that where it is a very popular for the priest purposes and gurus. Then planting. How to grow or planting the terminate in Kerala and other west coast areas where the rainfall begins early, the crop can be planted during April, May with the receipt of pre-monsoon sower. So as soon as the rain starts in the Kerala and West Coast area, they are transplanting the turmeric in April, May, yes, as soon as they receive of the pre-monsoon stores. Then manuring fertilizer application. <clears throat> Farmyard manure or compost at the rate of 30 to 40 ton per hectare is applied by broadcasting and plowing at the time of preparation of land or a basal dressing by spreading over the beds or into the pit at the time of planting. Organic manures like oil cake can also be applied at the rate of 2 ton per hectare. In such cases, the doses of farmyard manure can be reduced. So when you are apply the oil cake at the rate of 2 ton per hectare, then you can reduce the farmyard manure. 30 to 40, so you can apply 25 to 35 ton per hectare. Recommended blanket nutrient dose for turmeric for Kerala is 60 kg nitrogen, 50 kg phosphorus, and 120 kg potash per hectare. Integrated application of coir compost at the rate of 2.5 ton per hectare combined with farmyard manure, biofertilizer, azospelium and half recommended dose of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium is also recommended. As the soil fertility will be varying with the soil type, agroecological condition and management system, site-specific nutrient management based on soil test results for major nutrient is ad advocated. The recommended dose of nutrient for varying soil test values of N P and K is given in table 2. So fertilizers are to be applied in 2 to 3 splits. Full dose of P is applied as a basal at the time of planting. Equal split doses of nitrogen and potassium with crop deaths at 45, 90 and 120 days after planting. In zinc deficient soil, basal application of zinc fertilizer up to 5 kg zinc per hectare, that is 25 kg zinc per hectare gives good yield. Early application of micronutrient mixture specific to turmeric is also recommended dose at the rate of 5 gram per liter twice 60 and 90 days after planting for higher yield. So fertilizer schedule for turmeric per hectare. So I already mentioned. So mulching, the crop is to be mulched immediately after planting with green leaves at the rate of 12 to 15 ton per hectare. Mulching may be repeated at the rate of 7.5 ton per hectare at 45 and 90 days after planting, after weeding, application of fertilizer and earthing up. Soil test based fertilizer recommendation for fresh rhizome target leaves. So you can know that when there is a low value of nitrogen, then we have to apply more nitrogen. But when the Nitro, available nitrogen is uh, 
higher or very high then we have to apply little nitrogen so you can see here that the fertilizer should be applied on soil test basis and yield to be targeted suppose you want to target 40 ton then we have to apply 170 kg nitrogen per hectare when there is a very low available nitrogen solid but when when there is a 30 ton you want to achieve the yield of the press turmeric then you have to apply 120 kg nitrogen per hectare in this similar condition it is a term rule for achieving higher crop yield and quality we should have to apply balanced plant nutrition in soil so that plant will balance nutrient from soil for that purpose soil analysis is must be for sowing or transplanting of crop but where you will carry out soil analysis so here you can see that sivama soil testing knows all nutrients available in your soil which are essential for healthy plant growth so it is a sevama soil testing kits so for that contact sevama agri clinic and agri laboratory bhavnagar gujarat put up your value online order to amazon flipkart for purchase of sevama soil testing kit so you can purchase this sevama soil testing kit and you can put up online order to the Amazon or Flipkart. Collect represented soil sample from your field at 10 to 15 places for one acre land and make 500 gram soil sample by quartering and mixing as indicated in Seva soil testing kit. So all this information has been supplied with the soil testing kit. Put up soil sample in a plastic bag and envelope supplied by the Sevama Bhavnagar. Dispatch envelope near your village Taluka post office without affix stamp ticket on the envelope because already ticket has been affixed. Sevama soil testing lab will start immediately soil testing and prepare advice report along with manager and fertilizer and dispatch your report within a three to five days to farmer home place, means at the doorstep of the farmers. We have latest, fast, accurate and precise ICPUS scientific instrument for soil, water and plant analysis purpose. So here, Sivama Agri Clinic and Laboratory. So it is website, sivama.in and we have also another firm, Mati Mati Agromart Private Limited. It is also located in Bhavnagar. So the website is matimatiagromart.com. Indicated nutrient management in Termitic. The field results of College of Agriculture, Rajendra Nagar, Hyderabad, Telangana indicated that growth parameters and press rise of beach 29.69 ton per hectare were significantly highest in plants supplied with 75% NPK recommended dose of fertilizer plus farmyard manure 25 ton per hectare plus vermicompost 5 ton per hectare plus neem cake 500 kg per hectare plus azote vector 2 kg per hectare plus phosphorus soluble bacteria 2 kg per hectare. So integrated nutrient management is better for achieving the higher yield of uh, terminating as well as better quality. The trial has been conducted in Gujarat at North Gujarat. So the variety was the caser. It was observed that application of recommended dose of nitrogen through poultry manure in combi combination with recommendations of essential nutrients like P, K, zinc sulfate, and ferrous sulfate significantly improved the yield of caser turmeric under North Gujarat condition. They have conducted experiment at Sardar Kushinagar. The recommended dose of NPK that is 90, 60, 60. Application of treatment consisted of recommended dose of iron and zinc also, which was 30 kg parasulfate and zinc sulfate per hectare each. So you can see here it is Kesar Super Turmeric Powder. The field trial was conducted at EICRP on Spices Department of Horticulture, Bihar, India, 
during 2007, 08, and 2009-10. The result indicated that fully organic indicated nutrient management and fully inorganic indicated nutrient management that is F5 at the rate of 20 ton per hectare, half NPK, 150-120 kg per hectare, plus pre-solubilized pseudopanase, fluorescence, and trichoderma as a strict treatment and soil application at the rate of 20 kg per hectare, each biofertilizer with spray or drenching with mango job at the rate of 0.25% and malathion at the rate of 0.1% at 21 days interval from July to October produce maximum plant height, number of leaves and yield per hectare, 54.93 ton per hectare. It is impressive and gave maximum net profit rupees 426,403 per hectare and the cost benefit ratio rupees 4 into 46. The field trial was conducted during dissertation, Odisha, India, significantly maximum rhizome yield of 21.9 ton per hectare obtained with the application of 100% recommended dose of fertilizer along with vermicompost and biofertilizer followed by the application of 75% recommended dose along with vermicompost and biofertilizer with rhizome yield of 20.66 ton per hectare. So the turmeric crop with irrigation system, sprinkler here, and here it is a drip system. So if you have liked my YouTube, please subscribe it. Thank you.